Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to colorize black and white images using Python and machine learning. I've collected a few images from the internet and I'll show you the demo of the results that were obtained uh, using these images. Uh, I have four images here. So let me quickly show you the results. So first I'll load the picture of Einstein. So here, this is the original picture and uh, here we have the colorized image. So you can see the difference of uh, these skin color and the uh, and the color of this coat over coat so this is pretty good uh, let me show you another example that I had I have uh, this nature image here and uh, you can see this is the black and white image uh, we have mountain skies and all you can see the colored image you can see uh, the sky color is very natural uh, it's blue and the clouds are also white and uh, here we have green color for the trees and uh, all these plants and we this mountain color is also natural and also show some uh, images of buildings so that you get an idea so here we have the colored image of the building uh, and uh, here a yeah, black and white version of this building right and i will show you one last image and then we'll get started so here we have a tiger image and this is the black and white and this is the colorized version of that image. Before getting into the coding section, let us see how do we approach this colorization problem. Back in 2016, Chang and his team decided to attack this problem of colorization by using convolution neural networks by not providing ground truth but the idea of hallucinating images. So what the team did was they took the ImageNet dataset and uh, they converted all those images in the ImageNet dataset to lab colored image. So we know that images are basically made up of RGB color space. R stands for the red channel, G for the green channel and P for the blue channel. Now what this team did was they converted all these RGB images into L, A and B images. So what basically is an L, A, B image? This is also similar to RGB but in different means. Here L stands for intensity or the lightness and A stands for the green red combination of colors and B channel is for blue and yellow color combination. Now after they converted all these images to the lab format images or the lab color space then they took only the L channels out of it and uh, they fed those L channels as input and the model was trained to predict the A and B channels. Here the L channel is basically the intensity or the lightness of the images which is black and white and the AB channels would correspondingly have the colors of that image. Now since we took the L and we are going to predict the AB finally to the obtained output the AB channels we would uh, just append the L channel from the inputs and uh, finally we convert the L AB images into RGB images. So just this is the basic idea of how uh, Chang and his team uh, approach this problem and uh, we can basically simplify this into four steps. The first step is converting all the training images from the RGB color space to the LAB color space and the second step is use the L channel as input to the network and train the network to predict the AB channels. The third step is combine the input L channel with the predicted AB channels and finally the last step is to convert the LAB image back to RGB. Let us now get into the coding and the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the dependencies. We have only two dependencies and you can install them using pip. I'm going to install uh, numpy by using pip install numpy if you don't already have it and you can hit enter to install it. I have already installed so I'm not going to hit enter now and to install opencv you need to type opencv and then put a dash followed by python okay these are the only two uh, dependencies that we're gonna use for this project and uh, let us now jump into the actual coding section uh, before going into the coding section i would like to give the credits to uh, these links uh, from where this project was inspired from the first is the opencv uh, the opencv module in itself uh, has a library or a script a python script where they did the colorization on black and white images and uh, they in turn gave the credits to Chang uh, who was the original creator that we discussed earlier and uh, I left the other uh, links here if you are interested you can 
just go through these things and uh, and get a deeper understanding of it now here we have the import statements uh, so basically we are going to use uh, numpy and opencv the most so i have uh, imported cv2 and i have imported numpy uh, the arc pars and os are actually the inbuilt uh, libraries from python so if you have uh, python uh, version 3 and above it should be working fine for you uh, but for cv2 and numpy you have to install the dependencies as i showed you earlier and after that you need to download some of the model files uh, here in this case we are not going to train the model from scratch uh, because we don't have the data set and it's computationally very expensive uh, so we are going to use the models that uh, chang and his team developed so here uh, there are uh, three files that you need to download one is the proto text file uh, here you have this uh, github link if you go to this link you can see uh, the colorization deploy v2 proto text you can download it from there and uh, here you have some numpy objects which we need to download uh, to make predictions so you can just visit this link and download it and finally we need colorization release v2 cafe model from this link you can download it from this link after downloading these files i created a folder called model and inside of that folder i copy pasted all these files over there so that it will be easy for us to uh, load those models from here so here is my root directory inside which uh, there is a folder called model and inside this model folder we have all these uh, model files the proto text file the numpy object and the cafe model file okay now uh, after we uh, gave the links or the parts to where the models are present now uh, we need to pass in uh, arc parser uh, so that uh, we give the path for our input image in this way uh, we can easily give a variety of image from our command line so here uh, i gave a flag hyphen i uh, with which uh, we can call different images uh, by just providing their path and after that i'm going to uh, load our models so first step that we need to do is we need to call uh, the read net from cafe uh, function uh, that's present inside the DNN. Uh, DNN here stands for the Deep Neural Network module uh, of CV2. Uh, so you can just uh, pass in the proto text and the model paths files that we uh, gave here earlier. And after that, you need to uh, load the numpy objects file uh, by just putting numpy dot load. So here, this uh, load function would basically load that numpy object into our memory. And then uh, here, uh, the line numbers 40 to 45. Uh, so these lines basically uh, loads the centers for our AB channel uh, and it is also used for color rebalancing. And this is going to create uh, one by one convolutions with which coloring is going to be made. And after that, uh, we are going to read our input image uh, by using CV2's imread function. And uh, this is the arcs, uh, arc pars that we uh, earlier had. So this is going to read the image in, in the form of a matrix. Uh, so that is the uh, cv2 function so cv2.imread and uh, after that we give the image path here uh, so this is going to read the image uh, from our disk and it is going to convert that into a matrix and as soon as we got the image uh, we are going to scale that image we know that uh, images are made up of uh, values that range from 0 to 255 so uh, in order to scale those images in the range of 0 to 1, we are going to divide this by 255 uh, so that uh, all the pixels within that image is in the range from 0 till 1. And uh, finally, we are going to convert the color into LAB color space. Uh, so we have uh, we have the input image in RGB color space. Uh, so we need to convert that into LAB color space. Uh, but question arises: if the image is RGB, why do we have BGR here? Uh, so there is a small catch here uh, whenever uh, cv2 or opencv reads an image it doesn't read that image in rgb color format rather it reads the image in bgr color format so in order to uh, handle that we are going to keep this as bgr in itself but that bgr will now be converted into lab color space so ultimately the idea is to convert the input image to lab color space so we are going to use the argument cv2.color bgr to lab and after that uh, we are going to resize this image to 224 by 224 where uh, these both are height and width of the images uh, this is just made so that uh, it doesn't uh, have issues when the model loads because the original model in itself is trained on 224 by 224 uh, sized images so we are also going to give the same uh, size so that we don't uh, mess up with the actual model 
and from here we are just going to split up the uh, L channel from the LAB we are going to use the CV2 split function and uh, this is applied on the resized image and we are going to take up the first channel which is the L, L channel and from there we are going to subtract 50 which is basically a hyperparameter that you can play around with and uh, finally we are going to colorize the image and uh, we have something called as blob from image here so blob from image is nothing but uh, it is just a, a collection of images uh, with the same spatial dimensions that is uh, the same width and the height and the same depth that is the number of channels uh, but uh, they all will be pre-processed pre in a different manner uh, for example uh, this will be scaled and this will have a mean subtraction and uh, this will also have some uh, swapping of channels so we are going to just uh, blob from those images and we are going to uh, feed forward our input here after that uh, we are going to resize the image back to the original shape so that is the obtained uh, ab image here uh, ab channel here so as soon as we got the ab channel uh, we are going to append the l channel now to the uh, obtained ab channel so that we get the original colorized image so finally we are going to uh, add the l channel over here uh, to the ab channel after we successfully got the lab colored image uh, we are going to convert that uh, lab color to the rgb color again so that is there uh, here in line number 64 uh, we uh, give the convert color uh, function from cv2 and we pass in the colorized image uh, which is of the lab color format and from there uh, we are converting the lab color space uh, to bgr uh, we are converting it to BGR color space because uh, the CV2 in itself originally reads the image in BGR format and not the RGB format. And uh, we are going to display that uh, image here. So we are also going to uh, scale up this uh, because initially we scaled down all those values uh, to in a scale of 0 to 1. And uh, we are going to multiply 255 here uh, so that uh, we boost up all those colors. And finally we are going to use the imshow uh, functions to show up the original image and then uh, the colorized image here the original image is the black and white image and the colorized is the final colorized image uh, now that we understood the script uh, let us now go ahead and run it so in order to do that uh, just open your command prompt and go to the place where your uh, uh, script lives in my case I kept it under documents and colorized folder uh, the name of my script is colorized.py uh, so in order to run this you need to type python uh, followed by colorize uh, dot pi and then we need to pass in the argument uh, for the image you can either give hyphen hyphen image or just uh, hyphen i flag and then uh, here you need to uh, put your path uh, for that image so here uh, you will have images slash and then uh, i'll put my nature image here you can put the destination wherever your your image is present uh -huh. so as soon as i gave it now it's loading the model and it's now colorizing the image so now i got the final results Right. So this is the black and white uh, original image and here we have the colorized version of it. Cool. Uh, so this is all I had uh, for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I've uploaded all my files to GitHub. You can go to my GitHub repository which I've left the link in the description. You can uh, visit the GitHub and clone my repository and try it yourself. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. and. Uh, Please uh, post your comments, concerns uh, in the comment box below. Thank you.